At last year's PAX East, we got our first taste of the enigmatic Game 4, a hexagonal turn-based strategy game set on a world where the sky reigns hazardous space bear blood. That's right, space bear blood. This year, the game finally has an official name, Pit People, and Den of Geek got to sit down with Behemoth, game designer, Ian Moreno to check out an extended demo build that highlights the game's co-op functionality. Besides the core turn-based tactical gameplay, Pit People primarily differs from past behemoth games in the realm of dialogue and story, which Moreno described as both humorous and dense during the demo session. Whereas Castle Clashers and Battle Block Theater had players assuming a broader role as the hero, in Pit People, Horatio is a dynamic character with his own personality quirks and motivations. This emphasis on character development extends to the game's cooperative mode as well with one player controlling Horatio on his or her team, and the other controlling a female acquaintance. The developers hope for players to draw their own conclusions about her relationship with Horatio. While Battle Block Theater utilized separate levels and pathways that could only work when players teamed up together, the main campaign in Pit People can essentially be played completely through with two players in co-op. Player cooperation first translates into the exploratory driving sections of the game, where one player drives across the bare devastated plains, and the other fires weapons at prowling enemies. The first thing I notice is that the battlefields in co-op are way more frenzied and require greater depths of strategy and preparation than what I saw last year while going at it alone. Both players have their own set of five or six warriors to manage and control, which means the enemy teams are equally inflated with more opponents when compared to the single player mode. The large scale battle also gave me an opportunity to see some of the newly unveiled character types in action, like the fire based pixie and the destructive cyclops, whose power is counteracted by taking up two valuable slots on your team to accommodate his greater size. With all of these elements going on at once, not to mention the tiny animal mascots that add special buffs to your fighters, it's easy to see how the battles in Pit People can get very complex. But it's an extremely rewarding kind of complexity, especially as you grow to master each different facet of the combat. Combined with the unmistakable charm of Dan Paladin's art, Pit People may very well be the most robust and expansive behemoth game to date.